Hello, welcome once again to Lost Art of Podcasting. I'm your host, Cox the Legend, joined as always by... Your co-host, Gareth. <laughs> You've moved up in the world. I have, actually, yeah. <laughs> well, we decided it this week, didn't we? So, yeah. Well, you wouldn't even show yourself, but I'll give you your job title now, so yeah. you've got something to do. I feel honest. <laughs> You've moved up from the T-boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have <laughs> How's things, Gareth, in your Back to the Future t-shirt? Uh, all things are good, yeah. All Been off good. work this week, so... You lucky sod. I know. I haven't had a week off from work since January, so it's a nice change. From January? I feel more relaxed, yeah. You haven't had a week off? March. <laughs> I'm ready for another. You've got two weeks off. Yeah, two weeks off. I've got, I'll have one. Make the most of it. I'm going to try. Mm. He says, but he gets, when he gets to put midday every day. Yeah. <laughs> so what have you been up to then? Um, when did we last record? That was on Friday, Friday wasn't yeah, it? It was just under a week ago. I went on the stag do. I got absolutely wasted. Um, I went out the following night to see a band that turned out it turned out wasn't on. Yeah. Because they cancelled at the last minute, and the the venue didn't feel like telling anyone. So then ended up going to town and getting really drunk again. And then I spent Monday recovering, slash working. I think yes, I was working Monday. Sounds like a good weekend then. It was, yeah, it was good. Uh, I can't remember much of it. Mm. I bet. <laughs> well, it's, it's the absinthe that gave me sleepful stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it, t- it, it tastes like paint thinner. Was it the 80% proof one? No, it was the 60. 60. I think. It's the one you can get like Asda and Tesco and that. Yeah. Green bot, it's got like green The legal stuff. version. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, we've last on the last show though. I think we posted our miles, but now we hit four hundred listens. Yeah, and since then we've actually hit five hundred wow, listens. That's really good. Well, five hundred and sixteen out of this writing, yeah. speaking, podcasting, whatever. That's, all, that's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you still all for listening. Somehow we haven't bored you all to death yet. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing something right at least. I still don't know what I'm doing though. Yeah, we'll get there though. <laughs> I assume we get we'll get there. We'll get there, it's just that I still don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why it's a lost art of podcasting, I've got to stop clicking my pen. Will we ever without topics to talk about, that's the thing. I don't think we will. No, because there's always going to be some morons in the world, and yeah. like the moron of the week last week, and there's always going to be people sending topics in, hopefully. Yeah. And if not, I'll just steal them off into Huffington Post. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, again, thank you all for listening, and um, let's make it to a thousand next. Yeah. Then we might start thinking about getting on iTunes eventually. <laughs> Hopefully soon. So yeah, uh, jumping straight into things. I've got, I'm putting the pen down. Yeah. Pen's on the floor now. Who is that? <laughs> I needed to write stuff down, but yeah, it annoyed me anyway. Um, we've got topics sent in, we've got a full page of topics compared to the half pages I normally have not that I write stuff down <laughs> to remind myself <laughs> uh, well, getting on in, it, in life like you know age and stuff and yeah you know, start to forget things <laughs> like I always starting I started about three years ago <laughs> wait till my age that's it you know, I'll forget how to tie my shoes I'll just forget where I'm working forget where I'm living yeah. forget where you keep door keys though yeah <laughs> Not that I do that already. The thing is, like, you never wish to get to work, and, like, and you can't find the keys anywhere. It takes <laughs> half an hour to find them. And they'll be in your coat pocket. I've done that before. Mm. <laughs> I've done it many times. But yeah, um, so we've had some topics sent in. So, again, thank you for sending these. If I can't remember who sent them in, you can probably just tell me when you see me in person next. Or just slap me in the face. Mm. Which people do sometimes. Um, first off, Joe sent in. Nicknames and how do we get them? Have you got a nickname? Yeah, Squires. 
spiders? Why are you called spiders? Um, I have no idea. I think it's due to the fact that my surname is quite long, so they... We condensed it surname. down. We condensed it down. But that was when I first started at the cinema that we used to work at. So everybody started calling me Squires. And it just Easier than Gareth, you part of the surname clan. Yeah. Some people call me G as well. G. It's like, sure, yeah. The G man. Yeah. <laughs> or G bomb. Yeah. There, yeah. Was, there was a pod I listened, used to listen to where, strangely enough, the, the hosts are called C bomb and G money. So. That's weird. Yeah. And he had Garrett glasses as well. Oh. Yeah. But he was British and the other guy was American. Yeah. But he lived in Australia. That's cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not, they're not doing it anymore because they're both too busy with their own lives to yeah. pod. But mm. so, how do you get your surname? Um, your nickname, sorry. Well, Coxie. Yeah. Um, high school. I walked in one day, sat down, and someone said, "Ask me." Asked, like, said, "All right," to me. And then someone said, "No, he's not called that. He's called Coxie." I was like, "Am I?" Like, yeah. And it just sort of went from there. Oh. Right from like year seven through uh, year eleven, yeah. on to college, then from college to jobs, yeah, and it's just sort of stuck with me ever since. So now you're officially known as Toxy. Essentially, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I've been I've been called other things as like from the like that place. I think you said it before, so I've got a fucking censor. <laughs> you bastard. The, the old one. Odd ones. The old. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> You did this to me last night, I had to censor you three times, you absolute bellend. It's just fun to mind you up. It isn't, because I've got to do editing, I wanted to make it a nice easy episode for people to listen to. I could have recorded this and put it out tonight because you've said that, I can't now. Oh yeah, no, I'm sure you can wait I'll punch days. you in the balls. <laughs> there we go there. <laughs> punch you back. <laughs> and then we'll be able to podcast and do this episode. <laughs> It's alright, you've got a bottle of sauce in front of you again to try. I know. And a picture of Dennis. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, yes. But yeah, um, there was a guy there that called me Lord Coxington. Okay. No idea where that came from. And there was Coxington Smythe, because I was apparently royalty. And then there was Coxington Prime, from when like, Transformers came out. <laughs> I don't know again where that came, one came from. So basically, people trying to think of different nicknames for you. Yeah. See what they can come up with. Yeah, I've been I've had others as well, which I can't couldn't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. But I was called Squid at primary school. Squid. Yeah, and you know that's just ridiculous. Squidward. Yeah. <laughs> Did you play a clarinet? No, I didn't do that. No. And live next to a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> no. Oh, shocking. Yeah. But yeah, um, Joe is also the same guy sent us our care package last week. Okay. So thanks for that, Joe. Um, but we got a friend. He wants me. He wants me to tell this story now, which the other, which the problem is for the other person. It's not a very good story because it's about it's about our friend Dan, and I'm doing the quotation fingers because <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we all first met up, um, Dan, we always thought Dan was called Dan on on his various social medias. He's, he was listed as Dan. Mm. So I walked out of the station one day to meet him and said, Dan? He's like, yeah. And then about a year later, we told us his, his first name was actually Lewis. <laughs> and we said, why do you, yeah. you say you were called Dan then? He's like, oh, it's my middle name. <laughs> but I'm actually called Lewis. So and I was like, proper shit in it because I've got social anxiety. Oh. But we were in, um, they came to Blackpool once, we went drinking one day, we sat outside with Fishbones. And I think I go off to the toilet or get some cash or something to come back and there's a guy chatting to him about because he saw Dan's like Friday the 13th tattoo on his leg. And he said, oh, I like all them films, like horror films and that. <laughs> and he started chatting to us, but he's own like, the guy's there, he's like a purple cardigan, white shirt on, like jeans. Just there, like smoking a fag. And he just started chatting to us about horror films like that. Oh, I see, I see you chatting, so I'll leave you to it. He comes out again about ten minutes later, carry on chatting to us. Really? And he awesome. <laughs> told us he was called Lee. <laughs> and that he found they live locally, but I've not seen him since. Oh, wow. Um, he's quite an old, he's pulling in like his 50s or 60s, but he's just, it was a little funny how he came over, he's like, my name's Lee. I like horror films. <laughs> so ever since then, we always mention Lee. Yeah. And he's like, 
gently on you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go and hunt down Lee, see if we can find him. If you are Lee, yeah. <laughs> and you're listening to this, please write in. Yeah. <laughs> Tweet us. You probably don't know what Twitter is. Probably doesn't actually know. Too busy watching horror films. Probably still got a typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watching like the new Friday the 13th in black and white. Do you think it has just VHS videos though? Possibly. Yeah. Haven't made that step up yeah. to the TV show. Maybe. Mm. Mm. Intriguing. Mm. Uh, so yeah, cheers for sending that in, Joe. <laughs> and sorry about that, Dan. Uh, Paul writes in, preference. Old Blackpool trams or new ones? I don't know, this is toughy this one. Because I remember the old trams, but I've been on the new trams and I quite like them. I think the new trams are a smoother ride. Yeah. Uh, the old trams, they were alright, but I think they sort of served the town because the, were, the seats were dusty. Yeah. Because I used to have that, me and my brother used to have a habit of smacking the seat to get all the dust to come up. <laughs> you can make like, massive dust clouds and smack in the seat if you smacked it hard enough. So they weren't too good or anything like that? No. Yeah, I, th- I think I prefer the, old, the new ones, I think. Mm. They're quicker as well, obviously. Yeah, I think. I think there some people, some people like, I don't know, what I'm torn. It's like the old the old ones had the flip seats. Yeah. So you could like sit four of you together. Mm. If you wanted to, or just two of you. Yeah. But new trams have got so much room as well. They do. But it's like when they get really busy around, like... The illuminations time because sometimes I get the tram home rather than waiting for the bus because it's like I can wait 45 minutes for the bus I'll get a crowded tram and yeah. uh, be home in about half an hour quicker yeah so I don't know we'll go with it's, new it's, ones yeah we'll go for <laughs> new ones I think yeah until you get a double decker one yeah we need a double decker <laughs> uh, following on from that he also sent in oh, the twilight film was actually shite <laughs> uh, could be really sar- sarcasm could come into this so but then I think in reality I'd pretty shit really aren't they I've almost seen the first one in cinema I'm not bothered with really, any of this yeah I've, looked, <laughs> I've had to look you know the unfortunate of seeing all of them <laughs> I can't I don't know how to <laughs> I've actually worded that really but yeah. I was unfortunately made to actually watch all of them. And I hated every single one of them. Even breaking wind, part one and part two. Yeah. I had to be forced to watch that as well. Forced to watch them. Yeah. I have no choice. <laughs> well I did, I did see um Twilight Eclipse in the pound shop today on Blu-ray. <laughs> for the for the low low price of one pound. Still, you... still new and sealed. And no, I didn't buy a really? copy before you asked me. I bet you attempted though. No, I'd rather buy a copy of Green Hornet, I saw which I still haven't done. Yeah. You should do. I shouldn't. <laughs> I knew there was on Netflix, but I couldn't bring myself to either. So mm. yeah, I've only seen ever seen it once, but that was when it first came out. You might be like though yeah. when I it's like the opposite respect for me for like Cowboys vs Aliens. I didn't like that film. I didn't. You know? No. I'm trying to watch it three times now, I can't get into it. Right. It's like it's split into like Wild West and. Yeah, I've made it about that far. Get an alien, sort of. <laughs> so. And stay, sticking with films, you watched. Uh, you finally watched a Mario Brothers film. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> finally. What's your uh, take on it? I'd like to have 100 minutes of my life back. <laughs> It wasn't a terrible film, it's not the worst film I've ever seen, but it's still bad. I was sort of like started like making a list of what I could like really rip into it about sort of thing. So the first bit didn't make sense with because the first scene included like a child that just been born. I bet he's like baby and you know, these nuns around it. it. Didn't make sense to that at all. You know, I, I didn't know what that was about, so I didn't know if it was like my Mario or Luigi. Like when, and then when it came to present day. So and it was all set in Boston. But it was alright, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Would you watch it again though? I'd have to be pissed. 
<laughs> if I had a few group of friends around and we were all watched it, maybe, yeah. You know, just rip it on it. Yeah, just <laughs> tear it to pieces, really. <laughs> um, sticking with kids' films, the Banana Space Jam 2. Oh, yes, they have, yes. With, what, is it LeBron, LeBron James, I think? And it's um, the director of Fast and Fury, the last Fast and Furious film, isn't it? I, I just know LeBron James is in it. So hopefully it's a good of the first one. I can't remember watching the first one. I, I have watched the first one years ago, but... Can't uh, Michael Jackson it. plays... Not Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jordan plays golf, falls in the hole, or gets sucked into the hole, ends up playing with the, the tunes. Yeah. And tries to get into baseball and then fails at that as well. Was it kind of like a sort of like weird sequel to Who Framed Red Rabbit? It's not no, kind of that no. direct sequel, but basically... Uh, like S- similar set up just yeah. not a not a sequel no but yeah I don't know I don't think I'll bother, bother with Space Man Space Jump 2 I think I think I'll have to it's like Toy Story yeah I watched the first one and then the second one so I'll sort of stick with it now yeah <laughs> there's going to be a fourth one that hasn't there as well so. there is in 2017 or 2018 mm. so. it'll never die no, it won't do. It'll go on forever. <laughs> Even when they run out of ideas, just have Buddy and Buzz on screen for ten minutes. Going, yeah. Well, we've done it all now. Yeah. Andy, Andy's forty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're still in a box in your house somewhere. They'd have to put a bit of wear and tear on. Um, yeah. Buddy, they, really? How old he is now? Because mm. it was. It was ninety, ninety five, ninety six when it came out. I think so. Might have been earlier. I can't remember. Yeah, um, the new Ghostbusters trailer. I really don't know what to make of it, really. <laughs> well, well, YouTube does it. Apparently, it's the most disliked trailer in history. I've heard, yeah. Or most disliked. Yeah, I think it's di- disliked trailer. Or disliked video in history or something. Yeah. I think there's a lot of big fans of the original films, and it's just. They're talking for ages about the third one being like the guys going back. It wasn't like them. They're trying to get hold of the film movie. Um, my my, what I heard was that he won't get past them about whether he wants to do it or not. Yeah, he he, he doesn't have an agent. Mm. He just has like a voicemail thing. It doesn't he doesn't check very often. Yeah, which still has like all these all the calls and stuff go through to that voicemail, so he misses out on stuff. Um, and if he doesn't or if he does listen to it he's not interested he just won't reply to him yeah. he, he missed out on playing as he you know, was Sully in Monster Inc over that right because so, he's got a massive payday for it um, yeah there's also now apparently there's been a Blues Brothers animated series pitched by Dan Aykroyd that was going to be interesting I'm not too sure, really, because it's what can they really do with an animated series for of it? Because mm-hmm. pe- a lot of people thought they didn't, they didn't, they didn't they can't even speak. They didn't need a um, Blue Brothers 2000. It didn't need a sequel. They were saying no. So. Well, will they be da- Dan Aykroyd doing actual voice as well, or this character, or will they be different actors? I think? I'm not actually sure. It's. Uh, it's Dan Aykroyd and uh, John Belushi's wife are pitching it. Right. I think they want to pitch it this month and get it out for May. So I don't know if it's going to be like a YouTube thing or a yeah. TV special or something. I'm not too sure on it really. There's, there's not much info out currently. Right. So it's just been mentioned really. So. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hello. My name is David Hughes and I'm one half of Moose TV along with Chris Cassidy, a young aspiring actor and writer, now stuck with me, talking dribble, every week on YouTube. You like interviews with such stars as Paul McCartney and Britney Spears? They're not on this show. But never mind, we'll do our own thing, talk to local stars, and also film reviews and food reviews, and anything else that cheers us up. So please, look for Mooch TV on your YouTube box. Mooch TV, the programme to watch when there's nothing else on the telly. Pit pit people. Hi, I'm Paul the Hat Guy Flinders, 
and I'm here to tell you about a brand new wrestling podcast that I host called the WrestleBox Podcast. We talk about the week's news in the world of professional wrestling from WWE, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, through to TNA, and all the way through the indie scenes such as Best of City Wrestling and other indie scenes such as ROH. Plus all the bits in between, you know, all the fun bits, all the baby even stuff that's out of the wrestling world. So join us every week if you like a bit of a laugh, a bit of banter, and a bit of wrestling talk. Join us as a Spreaker, look for WrestleBox, and find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash WrestleBox. Thank you for listening to my little plug, and now it's back to the Lost Art of Podcasting. Moving slightly on to games now, because you're a Legend of Zelda fan, or you play Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I like Legend of Zelda, yeah. This, cause apparently, apparently Hong Kong is making a crime drama of Zelda. Or really? Zelda was like a, yeah, it's... I saw a screenshot of it, and it's like, there's a picture of that Link talking to like a copper, where it's a person, guy dressed as Link. Is this going to be live, like, live action? I believe so. Yeah. I don't know what to make of that at all. No, I don't. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be in English, though, so I don't think we have to worry. So is it, like, is it Japanese, then, is it? Chinese. Chinese, is it? Chinese, is it? Yeah. It could work. It could, it'd be, it'd be really weird if I had to do like an English dub and quietly release it on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> like, here's Zelda in a crime drama. But then again, it could be entertaining actually to watch. It could be really crap. Possibly. But it could be quite funny to watch. And yeah, um, in some good news, you have, some, you have some good news, don't you? Yes. Apart from this picture of Dennis you found. I know, yeah. <laughs> With that Do I Know You t shirt that I was wearing. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, my wife, who's currently in the States, has received great good news that she's now got a visa. Um, so she'll be returning the last weekend of July, I think. So that's uh, that's good news. Party time. Yeah, I think we'll arrange <laughs> like Sur- a... Surprise, surprise homecoming. <laughs> yeah. So, she, she be t- so yeah, we'll have like a, a nice return party for her. That's a surprise, but she doesn't know it yet. No. We can't tell her so, un- unless she's like listen to his pod. No, I don't know. If, if you're listening, Reagan, forget it. Forget we said that. There's gonna be no party. Or two years. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just be a takeaway and a quiet movie in. Yeah. With Sheldon the Wonder Dog. Yeah. But she returns on the Monday, I think it is. So that happens. That's good. Even Sheldon excited, aren't you, Sheldon? Yes. Currently grabbing at the moment. <laughs> He doesn't like me though. You don't like me, do you, Sheldon? So you, you growled last week when I said your name. It felt on perfectly. Like that. <laughs> I'm not. Um, one I found, or one topic I found even. National days and how pointless they are. Yeah, they're some are pointless. It's like yesterday was May the fourth. Or Star Wars Day. Yeah, you can have best. And today is Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> yeah. So it should really be Revenge of the Sixth, maybe, tomorrow. Mm, no. no. I don't know, I, it kind of goes with Fifth, doesn't the it? Really? The Fifth Awakens, and then yeah. Revenge of the Sixth. <laughs> no, Revenge of the Fifth is better. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Uh, You'll have a new day then. I'm screwing you. <laughs> um. But I went researching and I found some other weird like national days that are on national days because they don't count as holidays. Okay. Unless you're probably in like some sort of weird religion or cult. Yeah. So we're, we're going to start off with May because like, only, I only found a few. It was massive. But it's like nearly every day has a, its own bloody special day. Uh, the first of May is Batman Day. No idea why. Seems weird. I have to look that up. I think. Uh, the 4th is Star Wars Day, of course. Yeah. Then the 6th of May, you have No Pants Day. And this, is it 6th tomorrow as well? It is. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe there's a lot of people at work who's gonna, who are going to be porky pigging. They'll probably get sent home now. Well, yeah, you're porky pigging, yeah. yeah, you probably will be. But there's still pants though, on. Yeah, Completely. that's porky pigging. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> it came. I can't remember where I first heard it about it, but it was. It's been a long sort of funny topic of conversation between me and a friend. 
Yeah. Where it's essentially Porky Pingy just wearing, wearing nothing but a waistcoat. Okay. And just sort of sitting there looking classy. Because <laughs> it's, it's like in the cartoons, like it just picks it just got just a t shirt and just not, not no pants on. Yeah, he just yeah, wears a waistcoat. Yeah. Porky Pig just wears a waistcoat. But it's like the bear on the Cleveland show. He wears a shirt and tie and no pants. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't cover anything. <laughs> Donald Duck as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, today is an actual official day for, I think, Mexico or somewhere. It's Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Again, I don't know what it is or what it means. It's something to do with mayonnaise, I think. Sounds like it. I'm probably being, bro- so, I'm probably being really racist though. It's like it's something to do with mayonnaise. It's like we get that every year. People always ask if it's about mayonnaise. It's really not. We leave it alone about talking about mayonnaise. I'm like, sorry, I don't do culture. <laughs> I'm, into, I'm quite interested in what what it actually is. We'll have to have a Google in a minute. Yeah. In fact, I'll have to Google it now. Yeah, we need to. Shell to entertain the masses. Yeah. That doesn't mean growl. One second, folks. Oh, well, while I'm looking for that, we'll cover some other days. 25th of May, you have Towel Day. Okay. I don't know what that is, either. Doesn't it make sense, either? Clean your towels? Is that like wear a towel on your head today? A bit, um, bit racist. Well, it's not. <laughs> People wear towels on, you know, when they've had a shower or something. I don't know. Cinco de Mayo. Celebration of the Mexican victory over French forces at some battle in 1862. So not mayonnaise then? No. I read it on Facebook, someone said it's about mayonnaise, and I saw I saw a, a picture someone put up where it said, it said Cinco de, May- de Mayo, or de Mayo, whatever. And it's literally just a, a jar of mayonnaise in a sink. <laughs> so that works for me. Um... 3rd of June, I think this should, I think this should be like... Every day. This one needs to be every day, but it needs to be like... I think this, the 3rd of June should also be like the, the last time of podcasting day. Because it's Donut Day. Yeah. So... True, yeah. So yeah, uh, if you're listening, listeners, 3rd of June is Donut Day, so you have to go out and get yourself a donut, and then That's send those donuts. Please. Morrison's. <laughs> but you still haven't tried saying these donuts, have you? No. <laughs> I'm never up that way, it's out the way. I'll get you some next time I'm over there. <laughs> I will walk past at some point. Um, following from that, the 14th of June is Bourbon Day. It sounds good. So you can crack open a gym beam and yeah. down the bottle. Chug the bottle. Um, and then another, another like, the second holiday of the year for the All Startup Podcasting is the 26th of November. Cake Day. Feed your face with cake. Hopefully, yeah. yes. <laughs> that sounds good as well. So, yeah, get those dates in your diary. So you can send us cake and towels and alcohol and donuts. Mm. <laughs> and mayonnaise. <laughs> um, my mate James has sent in a couple of topics. Now, this is this is one that you, you'll uh, be familiar with. Here we go. <laughs> I, know gonna, I know what we're going to say now. And probably you as well, Sheldon, because you work for a living, sleeping all day, whatever you do. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and we're, and this is going to be a short episode. This is going to be the shortest episode of ever that we've done. No, it's going to be longer than the shortest one we've done so far, 18 minutes. That's, that's the episode, did. yeah, it's so long I did. Yeah. The shortest one we've done so far is about 45. You're right. So, I want to drag it out a bit. Yeah, I think so. We've got our source that in as well. So. Yeah, true. We've got no break this time. Oh, yeah, we're going to just do it all the way through. Yeah. Like a masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, shitting at work. Should it count as an unpaid break? He's thinking, folks. I try to think. We are still here. <laughs> yeah. There's no, dead air. There's no dead air on this show. <laughs> Growl, Sheldon. I don't. I don't know. I, you I, don't I know. would say um, yes. It should. It's unpaid because you're not actually working, are you? Officially. But no. But then the problem is if it's sort of if you have problems or if you had a dodgy command last night. Yeah. Then it's how many unpaid breaks can you take before it's a bit of a piss take? 
Yeah, true, actually. And how long as well. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Surely you should get caught in the office, but we noticed you you spent a lot of time on the actual television. today. It's like, well, yeah, I dodged your kebab last night. It's like, well, don't eat kebab before you come to work. <laughs> yeah, have it when you get home. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'll go with yes, yeah. Because it's yes, something it wrong with it, yeah. It, cause, cause obviously, well, it's a natural bodily function. You've got to work at the end of the day, and if you need to go to the toilet for any reason, yeah. then yeah. Because you can't stop her. No. You don't want to be smelling the place that I will, you have to do really, sort of thing. Or yeah. breaking toilets. Yeah. <laughs> who would do that? Yeah, I wonder who would, Gareth. <laughs> you didn't realise that I didn't break a toilet. You no, know, you broke two. No, I didn't break any toilets. You told us you did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we were winding you up. Shocking. But it's like, well, yeah, you know, the text was live sent and sort of, sort of thing, so I thought I'd just carry on and just then it just went off from there, sort of thing. So I thought they'd see how long it would take you to realise that it wasn't real. <laughs> So. The problem is, though, we, we knew so it sounded like it actually was because, because of your history with shitting. Not that bad. And the fact you. you bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Gary said the other day you're surprised you didn't stink out Kevin at the hotel in Dublin. <laughs> Kevin? Yeah. The American guy. Just trying to think now. He was the American guy. We had breakfast for him in some mornings. Oh, and yeah. they went off wandering on. Yeah, it was, I think it was from Montreal, wasn't it? I think. Detroit. Detroit was it? Yeah. It's near Montreal, though. I think. Mm. Over the border. Yeah. The thing is, that, that place, I didn't think it was a guest house. I didn't realise it was like a kind of house. Someone looked like it. Was it what? No, it's a guest house. Yeah. It's just a converted guest house. It's like yeah. a house that was out. Mm. I think it's more like a quiet, like, if you want, sort of. Yeah. Oh. You if, you plan, like, if you're planning to stay away from the town centre sort of thing or yeah. city centre even I think it's more like for families wasn't it really yeah more sort of like I think just people looking for a quiet getaway yeah if anything but, oh, yeah. um, and following on from that we've got the new Doom game do we think it's going to be any good or is it going to be a little bit shy? You know, I'm not that kind of keen on those kind of games because I find them really boring and get too same and too quickly sort of thing. But what I've seen of it, I quite like it. But I've heard about mixed feelings about amongst friends and stuff about it. Um, I do know someone who's actually played the beta get beta of a version of it, yeah. and then um, and he, he said it was shit. Basically, but he, did, he was playing the multiplayer version, not by the single player campaign. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Um, I'd, I'd like to have a, give it a go, see what it's like. I wouldn't pay £40 for it though. I'd not like it. Yeah, so I'll probably wait until it comes down in price. And anyway, it's really cheap. Really? It's, I think I've only played. Um, the first one really briefly I remember when Doom 3 came out mm. I think it was they probably really hyped it up and then it came out and all the sort of critics of you just started flying and panning it yeah. and then everyone else started panning it as well I, and I think it was the same with this one it's like I saw I saw a really brutal looking like trailer for it but well, I don't think it, was, it wasn't gameplay footage it was an actual, like, an actual trailer they thrown together it looked really good no description of what the actual game was until the very end it just said Doom so right. I might hype in Doom 4. Right. But then, I think it's one of them is possibly going to go the same way as Doom 3. But Yeah, because I was hooked on the first two games. And I was I played them on the PC. And um, I even started making more levels as well. That's how mm. like, addicted to it I was. Um, and then it's like, you could like just get extra levels and that people were created online. And you'd just download them and you'd like, be able to play them. So I started collecting all these levels. But there's a, um, I've read about on Amazon, on the, what was included with the game, you do get like a level of editing of the game, which will probably be quite good fun as well, which will make it last, not last a lot longer as well. So yeah, I might give it a try when it comes out in price and see what it's like. I remember I saw the first Doom, actually, in some way. It was, it was on like cheap, because I think it was a, it was one of the time it was on Vista came out, or seven. Yeah. And it was like, I think it was like 4.99 or something, or... And it, has, oh, it always sort of intrigued me about the level editor. Mm. It's, oh, you can make your own levels, but it's not one of them, it's sort of 
probably really bloody hard to do, if anything, because you're putting a lot of patience and... Um, it, it, took, it took a bit to get used to, but I think it was really annoying at first, because it had to be really perfect, obviously. Um, but once you got used to it, you just like, you could just create loads of fun then. Mm-hmm. It's really, it, it's, it's really good, quite enjoyable. I, I liked it. And, Give me some game something to do as well. Yeah. It was like the Mario, the Mario Mario level maker on yeah, the Mario, Wii U or whatever. Is it Mario so. Maker is it or something? I think so. Mm-hmm. Or Mario something like Mario Level Maker or Mario yeah. Maker or So See so yeah, I'll probably give it I'll give Doom 4 a try. Mm-hmm. But I won't I won't pay it for the actual I yeah. won't get it when You won't buy it for full price. No. Right. Well, I just, I just noticed there's another tidbit I saw of news I meant to, I was going to mention, but I forgot to write it on my notes. The um, new, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They've got, they got a new song coming out. A new song coming out today, and they've got a new album out next month. Right, yeah. Called The Getaway. I've not yet listened to it yet, but I've only just recently saw it today that it's on Facebook. Mm. I've not listened to the song yet, I want, I meant to, and I got sidetracked doing something else. Mm. So, I've not had a chance yet, but I will for next week's episode. Mm. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll give it a listen as well. And I think that's everything from my notes. There it is. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Quickest episode ever. It is. Well, you need to draw it out somehow. <laughs> yeah, hot, hot sauce. <laughs> yes, there's hot sauce as do you, well. Do you need some milk for this? I will do. <laughs> okay. Just... Well, the problem is I know how hot it is already. It's not like when you go Popeyes and have your chilli mint and mayonnaise. <laughs> I nearly bought some Doritos to put, them, put it on, but I was like, we'll do it with a spoon. Yeah. Ah, oh, spoon will do. Don't want to taint, taint the, taint the flavour. Yeah. <laughs> so. Give the bottle a shake. Yeah, this one is Grim Reaper Maverick Sauce. It's from Grim Reaper Foods, which you can find on Facebook, on Twitter at Grim Reaper Foods, and also on Instagram at Grim Reaper Foods. I think they're on the website too. Somewhere. I can't find it, but yeah, check the Facebook out. Oh, there it is, GrimReaperFoods.com. This bottle is not yet opened. Still sealed. Unfortunately, you can't see it, but I'll take a picture anyway. Here is my Jack Daniel's glass of milk, which I'm probably going to end up chugging in about three seconds. <laughs> Good luck. So I'm shaking the bottle. <laughs> Get the flavour around the bottle. Looking forward to this. You've got three spoons here. Sheldon doing some as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay at Snake's Minute Food. Oh. oh. So, just for confirmation, this is a fresh open bottle. Gareth, you wake this up with your own eyes. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. It smells. This one doesn't smell. It doesn't smell as hot as the other one. No. But. It smells very tomatoey. Mm. Reminds me of that reminds me of West Indian pepper sauce, hot pepper sauce. That has, yeah. I think that's Scotch bonnet and habanero, or Scotch bonnet and something. Mm. So. Right. I'm loading the spoon. Mm. Oh shit. I'll drip it on myself. I was going to put that in my mouth and I was like thinking, no, I've got to wait. You got, I've got more than you. Yeah. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Of, I should have just got a tablespoon, I think. I've made the mistake of putting this on my fingers, so it's probably going to really burn my fingers in a minute. Right, let's go. Three, two. <laughs> <coughs> it's a lot harder than the last one. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some on my finger as well. (coughs) 
see how long you can last without taking that milk. Not very long. <laughs> the heat is really building quick. <coughs> it's got me right at the back of my throat. Has it? My tongue, the tip of my tongue is not too bad, it's right at the back of my throat. Yeah. Whew. If you have a cold, just have a two tablespoon of that. That's good stuff. I can feel it in my ears. <laughs> yeah, it's watering, yeah. A little bit. But I don't get, I don't get it from my nose, I really weirdly. Mm. My nose doesn't burn. Yeah, it's just back up well. On top of, on top of the mouth as well. A little bit. <laughs> so we got any more topics? It's going going from my throat, tip of the tongue, <laughs> and I'm going for the milk. <laughs> Um, I think I've run out of topics. You know what we should have done is just taken the hot sauce at the beginning. No, that, it wouldn't have made a good episode. It would have done. It wouldn't. <sighs> this reminds me of the time I really had a really bad kebab. Yeah, was it from Popeyes? Um, that's what it was. It was somewhere in Liverpool. Uh, Anything else you want to add? <laughs> Do I take a second teaspoon? No, I'm alright. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, this could have. be like a special feature of like hot sauces that we take each week. <laughs> do you think you could do each week? No, because I have to go out and find bloody hot sauce. <laughs> this is <bit> expensive. <laughs> I might try. I might try and find a bottle for us to, to try. So yeah. yeah, nothing else you want to add? <laughs> no, no. I don't sort of thing. Oh, that's fine then. <laughs> for the last start of podcasting. I've been Cox the Legend. I've been Gareth. You've been listening. Thank you very much. Goodbye.